In order to divide a decimal to the hundredths place by another decimal to the hundredths place, we're going to begin by shading in our dividend, which in this problem is 56 hundredths. Now we're going to separate the 56 hundredths into groups of 8 hundredths by using different colors. We're going to color in groups of 8 hundredths until we've used all of the 56 hundredths that were shaded in to the hundredths grid. This method works a lot better when you're shading in on paper. So if you're using a dry erase pocket, another option is to circle groups of 8 hundredths until you've circled as many groups as you can of the 56 hundredths. Once you've finished creating your groups, you're going to count how many groups you were able to make. Since there are seven groups of 8 hundredths, the answer to 56 hundredths divided by 8 hundredths is seven. To solve this using the standard algorithm, we're going to take our expression and we're going to rewrite it as a long division problem. When you're dividing a decimal number by another decimal number, you don't want to have a decimal in the divisor. In order to make our divisor a whole number, we're going to increase it by however many powers of 10 it takes to make it a whole number. The important thing though is that whatever you do to the divisor, you also have to do to the dividend. In order to make 8 hundredths a whole number, we're going to increase its value 100 times, and then our divisor is worth 8. Our dividend of 56 hundredths is also going to increase 100 times and will now be worth 56. I think it's really important to rewrite the division problem after you've increased your dividend and divisor so that you have a clean problem to work with. And in this case, we now have 56 divided by 8, which is 7. And the answer to our standard algorithm matches the answer to our visual model. To divide a decimal number to the tenths place by another decimal number to the tenths place, using a visual model, we're going to use holes that are split into tenths instead of hundredths. The first thing that we do is shade in our dividend. In this case, it's 2 and 8 tenths. So we need three whole models so that we can shade in our 2 and 8 tenths. Next, we're going to take our 2 and 8 tenths and split it up into groups of 4 tenths. Once you've split it up into as many groups as you can, we're going to count how many groups we were able to make. In this example, we were able to make 7 groups of 4 tenths. So 2 and 8 tenths divided by 4 tenths is 7.